Baltimore Sun paper today published in its newspaper this morning poll results that show that the people of Baltimore are obsessed with crime. There is a legitimate fear of crime taking place in our city. I stand here today with some of Baltimore's finest who have come out to say enough is enough. Enough of the blame game. Enough of our leaders burying their heads in the sand. Enough of the interim mayor waiting till the election to make real changes in our police department. Our police department needs structural change. How long does it take for us to evaluate a process? How long does it take for us to make real changes within the police department? Enough of our warrant task force officers going out trying to serve 40,000 warrants understaffed. Enough of our gang units who are only comprised of four officers, a sergeant and three officers, of going out trying to stem the gang problem that is rising in our city. We need real leadership. I am here to offer real leadership. I have already called for 250 more police officers to go out on our streets. I've also called for our officers to get a 15 percent pay raise. I also recognize that it's not recruitment. It is the retention of our officers. And enough is enough. Enough of the blame game. Enough of our burying our heads in the sand. We must move forward. Our city, through the poll results today, showed that the citizens of Baltimore are scared. I'm here to offer real leadership, not excuses. The fine officers back deserve a leader who will stand up with them, who will give them the tools and the equipment that is needed to end this crisis that is strangling our city. As I said, we cannot wait until September 11th, the primary election, to begin to make the changes in our police department. Our police department needs overall change. You see it at the top with lack of leadership and lack of direction. The morale in a police department is at an all-time low. We must send a signal to our citizens that we will not take it anymore, that enough is enough, and that we will move forward, and it's not acceptable anymore for any leader to put up its hands and say there's nothing we can do about the second most violent city in the country. We can do better, and we will do better. God bless these officers who are going out sometimes without the equipment necessary. You have homicide detectives here who are told to go out on foot patrol and at the same time solve homicide cases. You have warrant task force officers who are told to go out and catch the bad people when there are 40,000 outstanding warrants and they're short staffed. It's time for real leadership. It's time for the interim mayor to stop burying her head in the sand. It's time for us to move forward. We cannot afford to wait until September 11th to make the structural changes needed in the Baltimore City Police Department. Thank you very much for coming out, and I want to thank these fine officers who put their lives on the line every single day to make our city safe. God bless you, and thank you. Mitchell for Mayor! Mitchell for Mayor! Mitchell for Mayor! Mitchell for Mayor!